The U.S. trade balance shows the deficit and surplus of U.S. trade for imports and exports. A deficit occurs when imports are greater than exports. When the trade balance is in deficit, which it has been for decades, it accounts for one of the two components of the twin deficits. The fiscal deficit accounts for the other component and was reviewed in a previous video. TTM equals trailing 12 months. Current trends. June 2021 saw a total trade deficit of minus 75.7 B which was up 6.7% over May's minus 71 B and even eclipsed the record minus 75 B trade deficit from March 2021. The plot below shows imports, exports, and net figures, lines, over the last 18 months. The impact of the COVID lockdowns can be seen in the dip in early 2020. Goods exports and imports have exceeded the December 2019 values, but services on both sides are still below the pre-COVID levels. The year-over-year -year change is up nearly 30% across every category due to the COVID recovery. The only year-over-year -year and month-over-month -month value falling is the net services which means the U.S. services surplus is falling. Looking at trailing 12-month, the total net deficit has surged 33.5% from 609B to 813B. This represents a massive increase in the TTM trade deficit. The total net surge is due primarily to imported goods increasing by 60 B while exported goods has decreased by 80 B when comparing 2021 to 2019. Looking at the gross numbers, the only category that has increased from 2019 is imported goods. Net services has also seen a big decline of 22% falling over 50 B from 287 B to 223 B since 2019. The surging trade deficit is being attributed to the U.S. recovering faster than every other nation and thus having more money to demand imported goods. The current theory states that as the rest of the world also recovers, the gap will close as U.S. exported goods rebounds. While it is too early to confirm or reject this theory, there is no doubt the fiscal stimulus checks gave U.S. consumers extra cash to buy imported goods. With fiscal stimulus having now run out, and U.S. consumers potentially facing a declining dollar, it will be interesting to see how imported goods are affected in the months ahead. Another figure to continue monitoring is the services line item. The U.S. has maintained a surplus in services for decades, even increasing the net services figure since 2008. The trend has changed since 2018, see line chart below. If this does not reverse it will provide a stronger tailwind to increasing total net trade deficits in the months and years ahead. To really demonstrate the effect, consider that in December 2019 net goods deficit of 69.2 B was offset by a net services surplus of 23.8 B. In the most recent month, the goods deficit is 93.2 B versus only 17.4 B offset in net services surplus. The ratio has almost doubled from 2.8 to 5.4. Historical Perspective Zooming out and focusing on the net numbers shows the longer-term trend. This plot demonstrates just how much larger the goods deficit is compared to the services surplus. As mentioned above, the services surplus has been declining since January 2018. To put it all together and remove some of the noise, the next plot below shows the trailing 12-month TTM values for each month i.e. each period represents the summation of the previous 12 months. This latest 12-month period of 812B is the largest ever, having strongly exceeded the record set in May of 787B, which was the largest since September 2006 of 779B. Although the net dollar deficits are hitting all-time records, they can be put in perspective by comparing the value to US GDP. As the chart below shows, the current records are still below the 2006 highs before the Great Financial Crisis. Finally, to compare the calendar year with previous calendar years, the plot below shows the year-to-date YTD figures for each year through the current month. 2021 can clearly be seen as having bent the trend in a more steeply downward sloping direction. What it means for gold and silver. The trade deficit matters for gold and silver because it shows how much the U.S. is importing in exchange for U.S. dollars. A trade deficit means that the difference has to be made up with dollars rather than goods and services. Think about trading in a used vehicle for a new one. Because the old car is not as valuable as the new car, the customer must make up the difference with cash. The U.S. exports are not as valuable as the imports coming into the U.S. 
Thus the difference is made up by sending dollars abroad to trading partners. Not only does this demonstrate a weak economy that consumes more than it produces, but it means the supply of dollars around the world continues to grow. With more dollars circulating internationally, it puts downward pressure on the US dollar exchange rate when compared to other currencies. As the dollar loses value in the global economy, it supports the price of commodities measured in dollars, specifically hard currency like gold and silver. This was The Survival Economist. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe, sane, and healthy friends.